good morning friends it's Tracy and Violet and Boris and Jerry and Freddie from Tea Time with Tracy and Violet and everybody else it is January 20th and in Nova Scotia we're having a snowstorm but tomorrow is one of my beautiful children's birthday and I went to the store yesterday this isn't completely a book video but she asked for a bunch of books for her birthday. I got her a bunch of books and I got a bookcase that I need to put together that is sitting in the car. Oh, it's locked or it's frozen. No, it's locked. I gotta get the key, unless this is unlocked. It's unlocked, so I can unlock the thing. I need to bring it in the house and try to set it up. Son of a bee's nest. Come on, man. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Along with a great big scoop shovel I bought yesterday. So I'll see you in a bit. All right. Needles are coming in bars. Are they? Yeah. You need, to, you need to contact the school about that. Because I never signed a paper. Okay. okay. together <laughs> yeah it's not a big fancy bookcase for her it was just like a ranky dink one from Walmart but she doesn't have one in her room and yeah she, 
these guys are going to be a racket. I shut the doors there because my son's out there playing with his hockey stick, watching stuff on the TV. And anyways, I'll show you. She wanted a bunch of books. I got her a few other things too, but I'll show you the books I did get her. I'm going to do it in one piece. Okay, so. Let me get this all out. I should have had this organized. I'm sorry. I just have them in bags. Um, I got her a whole series. got the Ransom Riggs House of Miss Periquin's House for Peculiar Children book set. She read book one, two, and three. So she read the first one. She read Hollow City, Miss Periquin's uh, Peculiar Children. She read that one. And Library of Souls. But if I'm buying the rest of the thing, I thought it'd be nice for her to have the full set, just because. Um, and I got them at good deals, like, you know how I do thrift books and book depository and stuff. Um, this was the last one I was waiting for, so I got book four, uh, Map of Days. Uh, the fifth one, The Conference of the Birds. She's very excited to finish this. Um, series she like she was dying for it and the school library didn't have the rest of the books um, now she has it all herself um, the desolation of the devil's acre there and tales of the peculiar I don't think this goes along with this story it like touches on stuff before Miss Peregrine gave them a home the story of peculiars was written in the tale so maybe it's tales of the different children I'm not sure but got that so that will look very nice she can adjust these shelves but very nice on her shelves let's put them there for now I'm gonna wrap all these books individually too because it's fun to unwrap presents. But I thought, well, she's gonna have books. This past Christmas, she asked for a whole bunch of books for Christmas. She got like a bunch of manga. She likes manga stuff. She likes horror books. And I got her, I think I got her like 11 books, something like that. She got like a little mini library, but she doesn't have a proper shelf, bookshelf to put them on. She has a shelf in her closet. What, me? I don't know. I'll have to look after. Okay, you go on out, please. Anyways, now she has her own bookshelf to put in her room. Um, she's got her other books too. She didn't really know other books to read. Um, she loved. There was another series she read like before Christmas, and she has all the books. I got it for her for I think for her last birthday. Shadow House series. Shadow House, something like that. But I got her. Well, I ordered, I ordered this, and then it said it wasn't going to come, so I ordered her another one. These are reading log things. She's never done that before, but I thought that would be cool. Oh, just a minute. Oh, that was my sister. I forget what I was saying. Watch out, Violet. Yeah, I got... All right, Boris, Violet. I got her that reading uh, journal. But Okay, beep, beep. Skedaddle. Boris is listening. You listen. Watch out, Violet. The beginning of it has like a check thing for crime, horror, classic, romance, fantasy, sci-fi, hysterical, her hysterical, historical, biography, and blank ones you can add in. And then it has places for individual book notes and stuff. Um, 
I have been watching videos on YouTube of people doing their yearly journals. I am not a journal person. I wish I was because it looks like so much fun, but I just don't have the time and want to be able to make it how I want to make it. So anyways, she's just fair, you know, a new teenager and this would be easier if she so chooses to do that. I actually got one of my other girls who's a huge bookworm and has her own personal library up in her room. She even has a sign on her door. I got her one like for Valentine's or something like that. Once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved books. It was me, the end, and hers is pretty similar, like same sorta. Of. So I got her one, but that's a different thing. So I picked up some other books. She wanted some books that were like ghosty and horror-y. Um, so she was like, she didn't know any other authors. So I just did some research. I didn't want to get like adult horror. But like, um, and she's a little older than middle grade, like she's, you know, so like YA, I was okay with her reading that, honestly. <clears throat> Dog noises, you know. So I thought these two, I don't know if it's a duet or just two in a series, by Nicole McCarran, um, Hazel's Shadow and Hazel's Mirror. I forget which one's first. Oh, Hazel's Mirror second. So one. Hazel's shadow and Hazel's mirror and I think it has to do with ghosts or something if you can see there's hands coming out of that well like a monster coming out or you know some sort of ghost and it almost looks like a slender man kind of thing so um and they're not super long she doesn't mind long books but I thought that that's something she might like I got, I know she's a fan of Five, Five Nights at Freddy, and I got like a little book set, Five Nights at Freddy, Fazbear Frights, oh, book one is Fazbear, yeah, it doesn't really say what they are, maybe it says on the, oh no, the first one is Into the Pit, the second one is Fetch, the third one is 1.35 a.m., and the fourth one is Step Closer. Um, I know there's a glare because I'm in front of that snowy window, but Five Nights at Freddy collection. So I got her that. I don't know if they're graphic novels or they're actual stories. I don't know. I did buy this new. And I bought those hazel shadows new. And I got another one by V.E. Schwab. I've heard of this author before. And I see people talk about different books and stuff. I think this is YA and it's City of Ghosts. The series Tunnel of Bones and Bridge of Souls. So includes photos and notes from author. Oh yes, in the back it must have the French Quarter is defined by red brick and ornate iron posts. It must uh, take place in like limbs or something but so I don't know it seemed to have pretty good reviews it's not like extreme horror or anything like that but it's should be a little creepy and there's a little cat right there she loves cats so and the cat must survive the first book the cats in the second book and in the third book okay well that's all that really matters okay so I got her those And last book that I got, um, she's very much into manga, so I got her this. It's Uzumaka's Spiral into Horror Uzumaki by Junji Ito. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's a manga. Some people say it's terrifying. It's about spirals and stuff, but um, I'm comfortable with her reading this. She... It's a huge, I myself, as a teenager, I had, I loved, loved horror. And uh, I think on my 16th birthday, I got a coffee maker so I could keep it in my room, like, what's her name off a of Nightmare on Elm Street. I'd drink coffee and watch horror movies all night long. And occasionally do stuff out my window. <laughs> but that's a whole other time in my life. Anyways, she's not doing that, and I'm not getting her a coffee maker, but... She can read 
uh, some manga. And it's a nice thick one. I guess there's three books in this. Spirals, this too. Yeah, I don't know. I have never read a manga. It's not really my cup of tea. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a huge, there's a huge fan base for manga. And she is a huge manga person. So I thought that would be cool. You look up horror manga. This is like almost the number one to do. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm getting that for her. I'm getting that for her. All right, Violet Skedaddle. <clears throat> While I'm on it. Nope, get going, please. Go play. This isn't really book related, but since I'm doing uh, uh, birthday haul, she really likes Genshin stuff. And again, I'm not, I don't know what it is. I know it's like anime stuff. Anyway, she casually pointed out this little plush. And this is not for you, Violet. I don't know who it is. I don't know, but. Just, she likes, she has a Five Nights at Freddy plush. Like, she likes like little things like this once in a while. I got her that. I got her a poster from Walmart that has an anime person on it. And I don't know. It's a girl. Pretty girl anime. I don't know if that's Genshin at all. I have no idea. But for her wall. The models at Walmart. I, uh seen a manga magazine and I'm just like I've never seen that before I don't know it has a pretty little girl on the front I don't know I didn't see any boobies or bums in this so I thought okay well she could she could um, but it's a manga magazine it's and I, like if you try to read it like normal things are upside down and stuff anyway so I just thought that was pretty cool and I don't know how to say any of the different things, but I got her a manga magazine. And she is a huge fan of Doritos. I don't have them all here, I think some are still hidden. I got her Cool Ranch Doritos. Um, zesty cheese, I got her nacho cheese and sweet chili heat Doritos. I'm gonna wrap that in a box and surprise. And I got her a big two liter pop of Diet Pepsi because that's what she likes to have sometimes. And then she's gonna have two of her friends sleep over for a sleepover, and that's that. Oh, and for her birthday cake, she wants a cherry cheesecake for her birthday cake, and that's easy enough, and taco salad for her supper. No problem. Yeah, that's what she, uh, she wants, and that's what she's gonna get. So I'm going to put those four things in there. I got a big bottle of Diet Pepsi. I got these from the dollar store. They're called Rockets. And they're peanuts. Uh, they're like chocolate covered peanuts. And I think in the States, that's what you guys call Smarties. Or what we call Rockets. No, Rocklets it says. Rocklets. Yeah, anyways. I got those. They were only $1.50 from the dollar store. 
I got her this light. This was from the dollar store. I think it was four fifty. <clears throat> Has a remote. It just stands up like a tube. And light bar. Got her that for her room. She really likes creamy caram caramel, so I got her those. And some sour patch kids. So I'm gonna wrap all of that up. This I might put on the bookcase because it fits nicely. The food related things will go in the uh, gift bag. Oh, right there. So I'm just going to quickly wrap up these chips. I know it's not necessary, but it's kind of fun when she comes down and it's like, what? All these make up. Of course, trying to chew on this old hammer I was using, wooden handle and everything, all rusted. Still does the job though. All right. Let's get some gangster rapping going. Um, the fire's going. There's Violet. There's Boris. Um, wrapped everything. So I have the chips, the candy stuff, and the pop in that bag. I'm going to move the bookcase over to here and try to wrap it just to cover it up. You know what I mean? And then she can tear that off tomorrow and then open everything and it'll be hunky-dory. So I'll show you that when it's done. Ooh, all right, guys. There, all done. I didn't wrap it, like wrap it, wrap it, but just to cover it, I'm gonna throw a blanket over it and put a trampoline in front of it, and it's gonna have to stay here till tomorrow when it's the actual birthday. But, ta-da! All right. Do you think that's noticeable? If you walk down here, do you see anything? Yeah. It's invisible. <laughs> ta-da! I mean, of course, they'll know it's here, but they can't see what it is. So, excellent, excellent. So, those who are wondering, this is Freddy. When I say Freddy and Jerry, there's Jerry right there. They're hanging out here in the dining room. But he does talk and he does move. He's just taking a little break right now. But he was down here for Christmas. He had a Christmas sweater on and everything. So, yeah. Anyways, I am done that um, birthday present. I have put a trampoline. <laughs> it's not invisible. I know. But I just don't want her to see what it is. A couple blankets. We're good. We're good. So it's still snowy outside. But I'm going to end this vlog now. Um... I'm sorry I haven't put a vlog up in a while. They've been book hauls, but I did those the last two or three book hauls and I scheduled them for a month apart, so it's been a long time. I want to try to do a kind of a goals video. Um, I'm not like one of those regular booktube people that have everything all sorted, but I'm just doing me. And, um, oh, Violet just knocked over the trampoline. But anyways, yeah, thanks so much for joining me. I will try to get back on track. Um, it's just been a really busy holiday, and I just haven't had the time. Just have not had the time. So oh, it's a new year. I'll see what I can do. Mm. But that's my birthday book haul bonanza video from one of my kids, and I hope she likes it. I think she will. That's good. So anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. 
Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay guys, with that I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning and I might see you sometime soon. Bye. Kablink blonk. Oh.